October 27, 2016 to 50 p.m. Last updated, November 2, 2016 1 23 p.m. Zal Elver, the UN Special Representative on the Right to Food, says the rise of industrial food production combined with trade liberalization has allowed large corporations to flood the global market with cheap, nutrient-poor foods that force poor people to choose between economic viability and nutrition, effectively violating their right to adequate food. Within the human rights framework, states are obliged to ensure effective measures to regulate the food industry, ensure that nutrition policy-making spaces are free from private sector influence and implement comprehensive policies that combat malnutrition in all its forms, she said on October 25. Elver said that countries must go beyond simply ensuring their people the minimum requirements needed for survival and ensure access to food that is nutritionally adequate. She said that the international community is failing to meet globally agreed upon nutrition targets that seek to eradicate malnutrition in all its forms. She said that while there were nearly 800 million people living in hunger around the globe, more than 2 billion people suffer from micronutrient deficiency and another 600 million people are obese, meaning nearly half the world's population could be considered without access to adequate food. Elver said she was particularly concerned by aggressive marketing strategies to promote junk food to children in developing countries, and she called on governments to move away from industrial food systems and embrace more sustainable systems based on ecological balance. The first step is to recognize nutrition as an essential component of the human right to adequate food, reinforced by monitoring accountability and transparency, Elver said. Share Twitch.